5 Best Gaming CPUs Under $500 There are very few high ticket items more worth the price than a multi-thread gaming computer with an unmatched single core performance. If you play every single day, you might be itching to ditch your budget core processing unit for an extravagant model with better processing power. Unfortunately, not all of us can shell out upwards of $750 for a top-notch CPU. Thankfully, there are some awesome and downright formidable CPUs for gamers that can actually beat some of the more expensive models at a fraction of the price. Now that companies are churning out CPUs what seems like every month, there are a diverse number of options for gamers with all types of needs for their gaming rigs. Up next, we have got the 5 best gaming CPUs under $500 that can square up against more costly and upscale units and knock them out based on 4 key features. Intel Core i9-9900K We can't talk about some of the best gaming CPUs under $500 without talking about Intel's i9-9900K. The octa-core 9th gen processing platform has hyper-threading enabled to optimize 16 logical threads, and the thermal design power clocks in at 95 watts. Even considering all 8 cores packed into the unit, this CPU can be overclocked at 5.0 GHz and comes with a base clock speed of 3.6 GHz. Lastly, this thing's L3 cache is 16 megabytes, a significant bump from the core i7-8700K model. The best part of this model is you won't even need an upgrade for years. It will be a while before games catch up to its capabilities. This i9-9900K has some of the best frame rate scores around. Its enhanced hyper-threading will better serve you for running multi-threaded tasks like editing videos, streaming, or 3D modeling easier. If you're already working with an Intel motherboard, then you can't find a better CPU than this. AMD Ryzen 9 3900X Most gamers are divided between Intel supporters and the AMD fans. And there's a good reason to love the Ryzen 9 3900X. It works seamlessly with newer, more sophisticated AAA games. At $499.99, the Ryzen scratches the ceiling on the more high-end gaming CPUs of the bunch. The 3900X is packed with 12 cores and 24 threads for those who want to do everything under the sun, and then some, with their CPU. Plenty of newer games are taking advantage of the many cores newer processors boast, and the 3900X takes them on better than most others. It's 24 threads, 8 more threads than the Intel Core i9-9900K, outplays Intel when it comes to streaming, decompressing, and a multitude of other tasks, which makes it a better processor overall. Of course, the number of cores and threads slightly lowers quality settings compared to the Intel Core, but the performance of the 3900X is still superb. Its PCIe Gen 4.0 motherboard interface essentially doubles the bandwidth for graphics cards, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet cards, making the Ray Zen 9 3900X one of the best CPUs we have on the market today gaming or not. It's got 70 megabytes of total cache space and a TDP of 105 watts. You can overclock the Ryzen, it's the highest clocked 3rd gen Ryzen chip as of May 2020. But as gaming performance is a little less than 10% of what Intel's core gives. We wouldn't recommend it if you're big on overclocking, but at 25% faster multi-thread performance, it's a better chip overall for someone who is a serious gamer, but is equally serious about other things. Intel Core i7-9700K Think of the Core i7-9700K as the 9900K slightly less cool but more practical cousin. We say slightly 
because the 9700K is pretty tricked out for only $380. It's got 8 cores, like the 9900K and it also has the capacity to process 8 threads, compared to the 24 threads the Razer 9 3900X boasts. It's not really a problem unless you plan on doing some heavy duty streaming or video editing and it means you can get by with a decently processed air cooler. You can still overclock this processor at 4.9GHz from its 3.6 base and it's got a TDP of 65 watts, though without a bundled cooler. Regardless, at less than $400, it's one of the best in the market. Both Intel models have less cores than the AMD Ryzen, but when it comes to gaming, you probably care more about clock speeds than you do about the number of cores in a CPU. This model walks a fine line between price and performance and is your best bang for the buck. AMD Ryzen 5 3600X AMD was once considered an inferior CPU brand for gamers compared to Intel and most of their models were the cost compromised version of Intel's vastly superior overclocking processors. But at around the $250 price mark, the Ryzen 5 3600X is an impressive mid-range processor for gamers. Among other gaming CPUs at its price range, it's actually quite a steal. Out of the box, the 3600X beats Intel's core i5-9600K, which previously led the pack in mid-range gaming CPUs. If you're a streamer, you won't need anything more than the Ryzen 5 3600X. The processor comes with 6 cores and 12 threads, like many of their processors, and a reasonable 32MB of L3 cache and a precision boost overdrive tool that can help you overclock while maintaining maximum performance efficiency. It's got a PCIe 4.0 motherboard and a bundled Wraith Spire cooler. Of course, Intel will always be a better CPU for overclocking, but the Ryzen 5 3600X is a killer gaming system for its price. Intel Core i7-10700K And lastly, we're ramping up to hear about Intel's latest 10th generation Comet Lake S desktop CPUs. It's set to be priced similarly to the 9700K and both processors come with 8 cores, but where the new model beats out the former is its high thread count at 16, which is double the threads boasted in the 9700K. The 10700K will support hyper-threading and like most of Intel CPUs, is perfect for gamers who love to overclock. It purportedly has a higher base clock of 3.8 GHz and can overclock like many of Intel's models. Its i9-10900 model will feature 10 cores and 20 threads, with a total cache of 20 MB housed inside the chip for a higher cost, but this is still a good budget option to look out for. But this new model is one to look out for in 2020. In summary, the best processor for your gaming rig will depend entirely on what you want to do with it. Streamers and video editors might want to go for one with more cores, whereas serious gamers might want to focus more on their processor's overclocking abilities. As companies roll out CPUs that constantly surpass the bar they set for themselves, whatever you choose, there are plenty of great options to choose from for your gaming rig. And hey, even if we can't afford them, they're still great to think about.